Hi and welcome to another episode of Everyday Bonsai. I am going to do something different today. So this is going to be a slightly different episode. I am very excited to build a water fountain today. So this is going to be a Japanese bamboo water fountain. And my plan is to show you some schematics, so like a drawing to show you how it's all working and then I'm gonna walk you through and um, tell you all about it. Um, it's the first time that I'm doing this as well, but um, come on the journey with me. So I hope this is easy to understand. I've got the pre-finished pond or could also be just like a um, plastic bucket. Um, so I've sort of dug out the hole for that and we're putting in the um, that bucket into the hole and then what I'm doing is I'm putting a timber post here that's also just going to be rammed in um, with just dirt and concrete um, so it's nice and nice and tight but I don't really like um, using concrete if uh, unless I really have to and I don't think it's necessary for this application and then so this post will have a um, cylinder kind of cut out um, cut out chiseled out with a groove in it so that the holes um, fits through it and once um, this is rammed in I will have a bamboo post um, that's kind of sitting over it like a sleeve and um, I'm drilling a hole into this um, bamboo post and into this bamboo post I'm gonna put in the bamboo spout that I'm gonna cut on an on an angle and also gonna have a hole in this area so that the holes can fit through it um, yeah and then above the the bucket or the the pre-finished pond there's gonna just be rebars running across in order to um, give us some support for the for the wine barrel so the wine barrel is then gonna sit on top of it um there's the the pump the pump just needs to be strong enough to um recirculate the water from the pump through the um, holes into the water into the wine barrel and then it um, spills over at this point and um oops once it spills over it runs back into um, the the bucket and then again it's going to be recirculated um, yeah at the moment um, the landscaping is at this level here which is the the level of the soil and once everything is in place I can then put the decorative finishes in so this is just going to be gravel or um, pebbles and um, just to cover all of the edges I'm just gonna have some decorative stones in it. Um, yeah, I think that should be it. So um, let's have a look how we build this. And this is the ingredients list. So the preformed pond is a, I think it's about a hundred liter um, vessel or 90 liters or something like that. So it's quite, large and uh, nice nice and deep as well because you want it deep so that the water doesn't get too warm and um, algae is not um, forming as easily and I think I paid about 70 dollars for it 70 New Zealand dollars um, then we've got um, a French wine barrel so this is going to be, I'm going to be cutting that in half to um, house the water. 
then we've got just some decorative stones that are going around the rim of it to kind of hide every to hide the rim of the of the um, preformed pond as well as any potential cables and hoses and um, yeah that'll be all hidden by that then we've got the pump and that is a um, pump that is going to be hooked up to the to the main so that's going to be main electricity um, I opted against a solar fountain just because it's um, this this is just more reliable and you can just switch it on and off as you like and you can run it um, in the Sun as well as um, when it's when it's overcast in the same way it always um, comes out with the same pressure so you can adjust that as well how much pressure it's putting out and it's strong enough to lift the water up to 1.2 meters and I've got about probably about 700 mils or something like that so that should easily cover that then I've got the bamboo and uh, so that is the, the the first one the thicker one is the uh, bamboo post it's about 80 mils thick and then the spout it's obviously way longer than it needs to be and I have to cut it down that's going to be inserted into the post and then um, spouting the water out so I've got to cut a hole into the post and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that as well and next thing is the the post that is going to host the the bamboo post so what I've decided to do is kind of um, with a hand saw and a chisel I basically chiseled out that piece of wood so that it allows me to put the post into the ground so the timber post and then um, it kind of acts like a um, so the the bamboo post then gets slotted into into um, that s a cylindrical piece at the end of the timber there and it's got a nice secure hold and the other thing is um, the other advantage is that I don't have to put the post the, the bamboo post straight into the soil which means it's going to last longer because that's always where where timber rots is where it um, connects to the soil and where it can't dry out quick enough so that's where uh, always where it fails so that's where I mean you can put it into the ground straight but I would always um, prefer not to and recommend not to um, for for those reasons and um, then we've got the I've got some rebars there so you can obviously do that in different ways but I intend to put the rebars on top of the pond liner and to kind of give me a secure hold for for the half wine barrel that I'm going to put on there and the last thing I think the last thing here is the the hose so that's a hose that um, connects to the pump and then gets um, slotted into the um, into this groove here that I've cut out as well and um, then runs up up that that post and um, leads the water into the spout and then the spouts um, spouts it into the into um, into the, the the barrel the half barrel so yeah and then just some decorative rocks to finish that all all off and hide any any um, things that I don't want to see and the last thing there is um, I don't even know if I need that um, I have have had one of those for a while and that's just um, a mesh it's kind of a sturdy metal mesh and I might put that on top of the the rebars to give more strength and um, 
distribute the the weight of the the wine barrel and the water in it evenly so this is the area where the water feature is gonna go uh, it's right at the end that um, hole that I've already dug out there so this whole area beyond the line of the grass there is going to be pebbled so obviously the remains of the grass will be removed and uh, then there's going to be drainage metal on the surface which is going to be compacted and then kind of decorative pe pebbles and these posts are for bonsai benches that I'm in the process of building so this is also going to be done once the pebbles are in place and as you can see there's two holes there one is basically for the water um, container so for the uh, preformed pond that I've got and the other one is basically holding the post. So I'm going to put this um, post in here now and um, make sure that the that the holes that I'm going to feed into, which is the water that carries the water up from the from the vessel into the um, from the vessel down below into the um, wine barrel through the, the post is going to be um, accessible so I lower this down here and what I, what I um, what I'm making sure here is just at the height because um, I'm gonna as I mentioned before I'm just gonna fill this with, with pebbles so um, I just make sure that the height that I'm um, using for the, the, the base of the um, bamboo post. That I'm gonna fit over here is so that that is out of the, out of the soil level. It can be in, in, in the pebbles because that will always drain and um, will um, then be, will then stay dry. So this is this is kind of the idea of it. Um, and um, just now I'm basically just filling the hole, making sure that um, the post stays level. So basically what I'm gonna do is while I'm filling the hole with all sorts of dirt and concrete and gravel um, and kind of um, ramming it down that the the post stays relatively level and um, once I've kind of achieved that then I'm just filling the whole hole up and um, then I just know that once I put the, the post here that it will um, be level and um, look nice all right wine barrels I bought a whole wine barrel just because I think um, it's always way cheaper I bought one of those for about $190 so that's pretty good value it's in pretty good condition as well so I just need to cut it in half and what I've got for that is just a measuring tape and a ruler a pencil and a circular saw and so the idea is to measure exactly the half exactly half of the distance and cut it right right through here all right i might just put that on time lapse and then um, show you the end result
so that's it I'm pretty happy with the results it's pretty smooth as well so I will just probably have to get over the edge with a little sandpaper just to break the edge a little bit but um, I mean that's the good thing about orc it doesn't splinter um, too much at all it's a pretty good cut and what that means now is I can use one as the vessel for the water that the bamboo um, spouts into and the other one I just used as a planter I was just thinking to put some lavender in it um, and put it in a different area of the garden. So I've secured the bamboo post now and I want to drill a hole into it to fit this one into it. So there is various ways to do it. I've seen people doing it with just a chisel. Um, I prefer to use a hole saw. So this is just a hole saw that you can just get at the um, hardware shop. And so obviously roughly, it needs to be roughly the size of the bamboo. And I probably want to use the um, thicker end and have to do a bit more afterwards with sandpaper to um, make it fit properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill through it and obviously not straight on a, on a not perp uh, perpendicular to it, but actually on a slight angle because I want to um, have this, the, the spout fall on a slight angle, maybe, I don't know, like um, seven, eight degrees or some, something in that, in that um, region. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the, the drill and then I'm just going to slightly tilt it roughly to the angle that I want to. And yeah, I've marked roughly where the hole is going to be in um, relation to the, the wine barrel that it's going to spout into. So yeah, I've marked it here. So I've never done it before. I hope it goes well. Um, I prefer to have another piece of bamboo to try it out at, but I don't have it at the moment. So it's just got to work. clean clean cut so the spout I'm gonna cut just with a with a fine hand saw and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be fairly straightforward but I've never done it before so I might just cut it straight through and I think this end is just gonna be inside the, um, the the post and then this further side I'm just gonna cut on an angle to to be the spout yeah, so that's super easy. And focus. So you can see that there's a fairly wide hole and it should easily fit the the hose. Another really good tool that I just found um, for this work is just a little drum sander that you can attach to your cordless drill or to your drill. And um, as opposed to using sandpaper or a wooden like file, this is quite a, quite a good way to do it. So I'm just going to try to widen the hole a little bit with that because I've just got another maybe two or three mils to sand off on each side. Um, yeah, just let me let me have a look at um, how that goes.
Yeah, so this is what the spout looks like. I just cut that on a on an angle, which is pretty easy to do. And it's, um, yeah, this bamboo is really nice to work with. Nice and easy to cut, nice and easy to drill. So I am just assembling the um, post and the spout at the moment. So as you can see, I've just fed through the, um, the holes, um, through this, this spout and then into the hole that we've cut and it goes out at the bottom. So basically I'm just now connecting those two together. So I've got the bamboo post with the spout and the holes attached to it and the holes now fits through this channel and um, we just feed that over there and then it comes out through that groove so that the post, the bamboo post can sit fully um, on this timber post and is not um, in the weather and as I said before this is all going to be covered with pebbles. I am now getting the, the water pump in here and it's got some suction cups so it attaches to the nicely to the bottom and then the hose basically just gets um, slotted over here so that fits quite nicely And at the bottom here, at the base, there's a, a little um, dial where you can dial um, how, how much it actually pumps. So that's how you can really adjust a nice flow. And I'm now going to put um, the, the rebars on and the grill at the end. And um, then we can put the, um, the winder on. So it's important that the water will then spout over here. I initially thought I might just let it spill over all the edges, but I think it's quite nice if it just comes out um, the hole, which is obviously the last point and the water will just hopefully just dribble down this part. Yeah, I've filled it up with water now. And um, as with wine barrels always, they need some time, one or two days to swell, so the timber takes all the moisture on and before that the kind of water seeps out of it, but once it's, um, it's like with an old wooden boat, once the timber has taken up all the moisture, um, then the timber swells and then all of these little gaps just, just close up. Um, yeah, I might just um, switch the fountain on um, and it still needs some adjustment with the, the pump um, to get that right with the, with the flow. And also there's one thing that I've noticed um, that the water kind of drips off from, from that edge here as opposed to running down and that's because of the, of, the, of the metal bar that runs around it. So I have to just um, slightly shift the, the barrel, get the water out again and shift the barrel towards the back. And then that should all um, end up in the in the um, in the pond bucket below. Yeah, if you like that content, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, I switch it on now, so um, leave us any comments if you have. Um, more than happy to answer any questions. Um, yeah, and um, I hope to see you in the next video.